Hello guys, welcome to Petrico Studios. My name is Christopher John and uh, if this is your first time visiting the channel, you are warmly welcome. So yeah, I recently decided to do this challenge, you know. I decided to draw like Angel Ganev. And if you are wondering who Angel Ganev is, God, man, you gotta check out his amazing channel, you know, and also his amazing artwork on youtube uh, on instagram and also on art station so yeah i decided to you know do a challenge you know like draw like angel ganev for today and you know when i began this painting you know i added you know values just like values but yeah with, with colors you know what i'm saying just trying to get the figures you know of how the human face you know looks like with you know with just colors and not you know adding a lot of details so after that you know i began to add my own style using my customized you know medibank brushes and by the way i draw you know in medibank pro because you know i find medibank to be comfortable you know to use and it is so easy to use you know for me personally you know in photoshop you gotta use a lot of you know you know uh shortcuts and stuff like that and uh you know in medibank pro you just gotta click on your stylus pen and you can actually just select whatever um color or whatever shortcut or anything that you want and that is so quick and easy to use so yeah, as you can see and you know i am really really into these yellow backgrounds you know i love the yellow backgrounds because you know the color yellow you know it just pops especially with you know paintings like this if you add a yellow background it's gonna catch you know the attention of the of the person looking at you know the painting so yeah as you can see i was just it's like sculpting right you know you add you know you add some layers and uh, I didn't use, you know, I didn't use a lot of layers for this painting. I just used, um, I just used one layer or two layers. And uh, yeah, and you know, you, I locked, I locked, you know, the background layer. The background layer is uh, orange. It's not orange, but it's yellow, you know, yellow kind of orange. Like I said, you know, when when I use that, it it makes the painting pop so yeah so that was what i did so you know andrew kind of you know usually do his paintings like this you know usually makes paintings like this by adding a lot of these colors and later you know adding the details and that is actually going to help you know speed up the process and one thing about this is you know i wasn't really in the mood to paint you know for today but you know, if you say you are gonna do something, don't sit down and make excuses. You gotta do it at all costs. So that is what I, you know, I decided to do. And thanks to some Kanye West music, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was able to, you know, just nod my head to the beats and, you know, make this painting. And this literally took me, you know, two hours to finish the, the you know, this painting. And I, you know, I've been painting for, I don't know, like the rest of my life, you know, I don't really know, <laughs> you know, I, I started, I began to paint when I was a kid, you know, and up to now, you know, I'm now 20 years. So yeah, I've been practicing a lot, you know, whenever I come back from school and stuff, I just sit down and, or whenever I'm feeling bored, I just paint stuff like this, you know. And so, you know, that is the main, you know, and as a result of that, I've developed a lot of, you know, different art styles. And, uh, you know, it depends. And also depending on the day or the mood that I'm in, I just switch to a different style. And so, yeah, today, like I said, I decided to challenge myself to try and do, you know, something, you know, similar to, you know, how Angel Ganev makes his paintings. And, uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm just adding, you know, some slight details and changes and you know as you can see but then you know when i was drawing this and this is so important whenever you are painting you gotta flip the canvas 
and in this video i didn't flip the canvas so there are a lot of you know <laughs> let's say happy little accidents in this but yeah i decided to just you know you know follow with it and this is one thing that i you know that i really want to improve that's my anatomy drawing especially how to draw the ears and also how to draw um the legs <laughs> you know and uh that is what i you know i want to try and improve and in this painting i realized something was off with the eye of this you know pretty girl and so what i did was you know i cut you know i cut out the eye and pasted it onto a different layer and then i later you know added you know this i, I later added it to the to the current layer and i painted over it to you know to correct the little you know happy accident so yeah like i you know you see so i shifted it a little bit and i you know i i adjusted you know some of the you know some of the shapes and stuff like that and so yeah as you can see you know so yeah and i really found it hard to draw the nose you know I often have this uh, strategy to draw the nose, but you know, the strategy wasn't working, you know, for today. And this is something that I've really realized if you want to avoid, you know, art block or burnout, all you gotta do is to just put, you know, put down your painting, get outside or just take a nap or drink water or, you know, do something just you know move away from the painting for some time and then come you know come back when you are feeling creative or inspired if you try to terminate you know a project or something for one day it's not gonna you know it's gonna consume your energy and as a result you are not going to feel inspired to post or to create more you know paintings and so that is one strategy that i use whenever you know i don't you know i don't find my paintings to be exciting or i'm not really in the mood to paint i just you know put you know put it down and you know stay go outside or you know exercise or something like that just to you know help me regenerate my uh regenerate my energy and so yeah and so after painting this you know i i took a step back you know to see if there are any errors and you know i can tell you that you know there are so many errors in this painting but what really what i'm really you know most people are not really going to detect these errors they're just gonna say oh wow this is beautiful but only the artist can you know or only a person who pays really you know attention to details can actually you know know or see or find out that there's an error or many errors in this painting and so what i'm trying to say is it all comes you know to perfectionism you know if if you focus on try to get the thing perfect you know you're gonna you know waste or consume a lot of time and energy and as a result you are just gonna burn out and so don't be a perfectionist just keep on you know making these arts you know you know i started making trash you know or let me say dumb ugly you know artworks but then you know as time progressed you know i started to you know become better and better and i'm not gonna say that you know i'm a, pro I'm a professional i'm still on that journey to you know you know to improve my art and also to be a great you know artist and also a teacher to a lot of people and so you know as you know as a you know when the teacher teaches the students he's also learning you know some things as well you don't you know you don't just teach the people about something without you know without you actually you know learning something from what you know you are teaching these guys <laughs> i hope i hope it may, you know it makes sense but yeah and so you know i i decided to add some details you know in the hair and yeah and also you know i used uh, i was using a reference photo um 
I, I you know I often pick my references from Instagram you can find them you can you know use reference photos on uh, from Pinterest but you know most of the time I just find a lot of you know interesting photos on Instagram and so I decide to use them you know as references and also you know attach or add my create you know my creativity to these paintings and sometimes you know we'll, when I'm inspired or when I'm, you know, like I'm in the mood, right? To just paint something, you know, of how I'm feeling or, you know, in the moment, I just, I just use, I just don't use, refer, you know, references. But yeah, it depends, you know, it, you know, it takes a lot of practice to, you know, paint something without, you know, using references. And so, yeah if you observe something outside just you know come home or just sketch it on a piece of paper or something like that and it's just gonna feel amazing and you know i was you know most of the time when i'm painting stuff like this i try to avoid a lot of you know distractions because you know there are a lot of distractions on social media you know for example you know on instagram on instagram and you know messages and stuff like that so yeah uh, whenever i'm working on pieces or paintings like this i i just disable my internet connection you know and you know I, you know i'm a massive fan of Kanye west you know yeah donda i'm still waiting for donda though when when is donda gonna drop all right so yeah like i said you know I'm trying to, you know, avoid distractions at all costs. So if I make, if I'm working on a painting, the first thing I do is, bro, boom, you just, you just go take a piss. You just go, bro, you just got to declutter your space, you know, declutter, declutter, right? Declutter your space, you know, trying to stay focused. You know, you got your water by your side so that you are not going to get outside or get up to pick you know grab your water or something like that you know it is gonna disrupt you know disrupt your state of flow and so that is one thing that you know as an artist you gotta avoid and that is distractions so yeah you know right now i'm just focused on painting the lips right now you see this yeah i've got a lot of strategies for painting the lips but you know most of the time you know all of these you know it's like if you are painting something, you have to be satisfied with, with what you are painting. And before you begin it, you have to use, uh, a th you have to make a thumbnail or, a, you know, a simple sketch or an idea of what you are going to make. Otherwise, it is going to be a pain in the <laughs> butt, right? I want to use the pain in the, you know, ass, right? Yeah, so... It's gonna be a major pain and you know it's gonna make you frustrated or it's just gonna make you unmotivated so that is what i try to do i try to eliminate these distractions and you know and uh i didn't use a thumbnail for this and so that's why it took me you know two hours but next time i'm gonna try and you know make paintings that are really really you know like planned or organized content so yeah that is you know all that i'm gonna say for today and uh thank you so much for listening to <laughs> my rants and stuff like that and uh, i hope you know some of the things that i said you know was valuable and so thank you so much for watching this and for more like this please like subscribe and click notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.